escape rooms exist and they're pretty cool so let's talk about them in this life of mine i've gone to three escape rooms and i have most likely been the least helpful teammate in each one if you've never been to an escape room or have never heard of them escape rooms are really fun games where you and your friends are put in a room and have to escape it within an hour or else you fail usually they give you a cool backstory of what you're doing and why you're in that room which is pretty neat. The three escape rooms I've been to were all for birthday parties, and what better gang than a group of unemployed kids to solve the mystery. The first escape room I ever did was one year ago. This one was based on finding something in someone's bedroom. Nothing wrong about that. I forgot what we were supposed to find, but it ended up being in a fridge. One time, I was given the responsibility to unlock something. It was one of those locks where you push the dial thing to either direction to unlock it. But with these locks, you had to click the little metal part up two times to reset it. Which I had misheard for just pushing the dial up two times. So once I assumed that it was the wrong code, someone else tried and they got it correct. I felt pretty stupid so I didn't tell anyone the truth. The second escape room I did was based on some gold. The backstory was that there were rumors about this guy who owned a lot of gold. And now that he was dead, a lot of people were after it. So we had to be in and out in just an hour or else we will be game ended. We started off in a room that was decorated to look like a forest. They had no lights in the room so we were given flashlights and I just really liked that idea. My friend Brandon and I were busy solving some puzzle at the start, which ended up being useless. The next room was this old guy's cabin, which was your regular cabin with animal heads on the wall, fireplace, and a few guns hanging on the wall. Let's just say I held the gun for most of the time instead of actually solving anything. I did, however, lift up the bearskin carpet to re reveal some Sudoku-looking board thing on the floor. Once we found four tools and hanged them on the wall, the back of the heckin' fireplace opened up like, what? That's so cool and probably costed a lot. Behind the fireplace was a pitch black tunnel that led to a slide which was terrifying but it ended up only being five feet long. The third and last room was an underground cave, and our objective was to find three golden pieces and put them on a scale or something like that. This is around when I gave my biggest contribution. When I was messing around looking for hidden things, I found a door that was unlocked, so I opened it up to find the first room. You're probably like, what? Right, you just opened up a door to a room which you had already been to. That's useless. Mm, no. See, that slide we went down was a one-way slide. The only way to get one of those golden bars was to grab something from the first room. So basically, get wrecked. One of the highlights of this escape room was getting to blow something up. Yeah, that was fun. The last and most recent escape room that I went to was actually kind of good, although the best one was the one about gold bars. Now, this one was revolved around a missing item from a museum. Apparently, someone came in, broke a star into five pieces, and hid each piece really close to the museum. I think we were supposed to be like detectives or something, trying to put all the pieces back together. Once again, I didn't really do anything special, except for the time I accidentally solved the whole entire thing. Before I explain, you need to know something about me. I'm scared of loud noises in the dark, so when it comes to escape rooms, I'm screwed. Also, I get really into escape rooms. One time, something on the wall shook, and I literally ran to the other side of the room while Brayden, another friend, laughed at me. So, you want to know how I accidentally solved the whole escape room? Well, when we used our second hint, it gave us a riddle to which we had to turn off the lights and turn on a black light, which would show us where each piece went. But the thing is, we were missing the last piece, and without that one, we didn't know where the rest went. Me being me was just getting so scared of the lights being off and the loud noises of my friends not knowing how to hold the star pieces. So, Brayden and I left the room to hang out because we weren't really doing anything. In this escape room, there were three rooms. There was a museum, there was a park with some balls, a frisbee, and a fake dog. Forgot to mention, but I was holding that fake dog with me the whole time. And the third room was a horse stable with a little gate thing that opened up to a room full of hay and a basin with fake apples in it. Another quick thing before we move on. When we opened up the door to the horse stable, there was a bandana, a cowboy hat, and a belt. I instantly put them all on, and whenever I walked through the park, I would scream from the top of my lungs, Howdy, y'all! Anyways, back to the story. Once we left the museum, we decided we would grab the apples and bring them into the park area to play with. So, I grabbed a bucket that I had found, and went over to the basin to grab some apples. And as we were dumping the apples into the bucket, I felt something in the basin. I pulled it out, and it's a chain. I pulled it out even more, and I found that there is a small back box attached to it. Brayden notices my curiosity and I hand it to him. He looks at it and notices a switch on the box, so he flicks it. And then all of a sudden lights in the room start flashing. And before Brayden could look up to the light, I'm already in the other room screaming. The other guys ask us what's going on and it ends up it was a color combo to a lock that we had already attempted to unlock before. I got the honors of unlocking the lock, 
which I failed at, so someone else took over for me. When the lock actually opened up, there was the last beast. Since I was still scared, I pulled Brayden aside to do what we actually had planned to do, which was throw apples at each other. And then we found out that the ceiling was connected and was actually a few feet above the walls. So we were able to throw apples over the wall and hit them from the stable room. That was fun. I honestly freaking love escape rooms. They're like video games, but in real life. The best ones were the ones that had the best attention to detail. The one about the gold was amazing because of how the forest felt so real, and I got really into it. While on the other hand, the museum one looked like they just got PNGs of parks and horses and stuck them on the walls, which doesn't exactly give that effect. If you are ever bored, call up some friends and go to an escape room place. You'll have fun. Just make sure you actually contribute something and help out, unlike me. Yay, it's finally finished. Uh, once again, thank you for 1k, and I would like to thank everyone who uh, helped out in my math. Uh, it took a while, but it's it turned out really good. So, good job to everyone. Uh, very good. Uh, also, what was I going to say? Um, there's a lot of fan art in this video, so I wasn't able to... Uh, put names onto it so because they're I had self stocked up stocked up for like three months <clears throat> so I'm not cutting this audio down because I want every fine art thing to be appreciated because usually if I cut it up the audio is too fast so the tween's too fast and no one gets to be happy but I'm just gonna let this happen so uh yeah, I'm actually gonna play a song. Uh, I've been working on uh, Happier, f you know, from Marshmallow, you know, from the epic Fortnite event, but I'll just play a little bit from it because this will take a while. Uh, so. <laughs> Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. When the morning comes, and we see what we've become In the cold light of day, we're a flame in the wind of fire that we've begun Every argument, every word we can take back Cause with all that has happened, I think that we know the way the story ends Then, uh, only for a minute oh. I would have changed my mind This just don't feel right to me I want See you soon.